And tonight we're hearing from the family of a Texas Tech police officer who recently lost his battle with the virus. Yeah, Sergeant Ricky Eade served the university for more than 20 years, and tonight his parents and his sons are remembering him for his caring ways and his love of the great outdoors. Our Laura Lawhead joins us now with more on this brave officer. Yeah, Lauren, Ryan, it's another heartbreaking story from the pandemic. Eid's family saying it still doesn't feel real or rather like a nightmare that the veteran police officer who always put his family first is no longer here with them. And now they're facing their first Christmas without him. A great dad and a great police officer. A family grieving their beloved father, brother and son. Honored to have been at him as my father. I'll just miss him a lot every day. I personally don't think I'll ever get over it. Sergeant Ricky Ede remembered tonight as a great man. Fine, caring son. Always quick with a joke and a laugh. And where he was somewhat of a prankster, that's what yeah. I understand. Yeah, he had an infectious smile. And a dedicated police officer serving on Texas Tech PD for nearly 24 years. He liked, liked the kids. Every once in a while, he'd think they'd do some really crazy stuff. It was a dream he had since he was a kid, watching chips on TV and playing with a toy squad car. When he caught COVID-19, his family was shocked, saying Ede was in great health, good shape, and always wore his mask. Didn't think that that he would get it as bad as he did. Now his family plans his funeral, and the pain is almost unbearable. It's pretty hard to bury one of your kids. They should bury you, not you bury them. Ede's parents say his spirit lives on in his sons who are just like him. But even as they mourn, they have firm hope that one day they will all be together again. We're just thankful that he knew Jesus so that we'll see him again. This isn't the end. There will be a time when we get to see him forever. So that's always nice to know that this isn't the end on earth and we'll go to heaven and see him one day. He leaves behind those two teenage sons and his birthday would have been next week. He will be missed.